Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fusion tutorial. Today we're going to do a cookie dough cutter that one of my friends wanted. And I know there will be some comments saying this isn't food safe, all that stuff. Um, do something like this at your own risk. I told her that this is probably should only be for one time use. And she agreed that she would throw it away afterwards. And uh, we'll just leave it at that. So... Let's just uh, get into it and we'll I'll teach you how I do something like this. So we're going to go to insert canvas. She actually sent me a photo of the cookie cutter she wants. So we're going to open that and we'll put it on this bottom layer. I'll just scale it up for a second and hit OK. Let's just go to this top view. And she says she wants this to be about three and a half inches long. So from here to here three and a half inches. So let's calibrate this. We're going to go over to our canvas folder here, right click on our photo and hit calibrate. I'm going to zoom way up here and I'm going to click here and I'll click here and we're going to type in, oh, where's my little, it's way down here in the corner. Oh, what's three and a half inches? Four inches, three inches would be 75, four inches would be about 100 millimeters. Let's just do 90. We'll make it a little over three and a half. So now we have three millimeter or three millimeters, about three and a half inches from here to here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just create a sketch and uh, we're just gonna create a sketch right on this front plane here, top plane, I should say. And for something like this, it doesn't need to be exact, right? Like this is going to be a cookie. So it's not like you're going to have these crisp, sharp edges. So we really just want to get close. So I'm going to come in here and just start basically just free drawing stuff. And uh, I may or may not speed this up. You'll, I guess you'll find out here in a second. Trim these out. Go through all your spots, your corners, and make sure you're good. Obviously, if you can click in the center here, that means it is all connected. Um, it's selecting this profile. And once you think everything looks good, you can tell by all the blue lines that it's not uh, constrained. So I'm just going to go up to Auto Constrain. And like I said, for such a simple project like this, it doesn't really matter. However, you should get in the habit of making sure your sketches are constrained. If they're not, Fusion will run a lot slower as you get on with the model, especially if it's a complicated model. So now you can see everything is constrained, so it turns everything into a black line. If you don't like seeing all of this, let me hit OK. You can turn constraints off and you can turn dimensions off and kind of get back to your uh, basic drawing. but. That's really uh, that's really it for this drawing. If we turn that canvas back on, it looks pretty close. So now let's do a few things. So the wall of a cookie cutter doesn't need to be very thick, and I've done plenty of these before. So I'm actually going to do a wall of about 1.6 millimeters, which is four lines on a printer. Most printers are printing at 0.4. If you're using a, a 0.4 nozzle, uh, they, they do a 0.4 millimeter width line. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to type in negative 1.6 just so it goes in that opposite direction and hit OK. And then I also want a, a, a ledge for my fingers, for the fingers, right, to grab it. So we're going to put that in as well. So we're going to do this and let's just maybe do like two millimeters. So uh, let's do three. That'll give us a little bigger place for our fingers to go. And let's hit OK. And now we can fix a few things here. We don't really need this little uh, indent here. So I'm just going to draw a line here. I'm going to draw a line here. And I think we can call that good. So let's finish sketch. 
And we have to make sure we're extruding this in the right direction, right? Because this is text. So you want to make sure your cookie numbers or letters or whatever don't end up backwards. So this is the top. So this up here is the top and it's got to get extruded down. So let's just make our ledge first. So I'm just going to grab all of this, hit E for extrude, and we'll extrude it up maybe like two millimeters and hit OK. And then we're going to go to our sketch, turn that back visible, basically flip it over to the underside. And now we can grab the actual cookie cutter part, hit E for extrude. And we're going to go, oh, maybe just like one inch. We can hide that sketch. And the basic part of the cookie cutter is done. Now, we really want to fix all these sharp edges and stuff. So let's go ahead and take care of that first. So I'm going to round over these with a fillet. And so we're just going to basically, I'm just going to, I'm going to speed this up. I'm basically going to just go through and click all of the corners and put a round over on it. Okay, so I decided to put a half millimeter round over, so I just went through all of the sharp edges and inside corners, uh, and it looks like I missed some. So um, I'm on a Windows computer, so when you still have uh, this fillet selected, but you're done selecting all the corners, you can hold control. And as you hold control, you can select more edges, and it'll just add it to it. Let's just go around. Looks like I missed this one too, so I'm going to hit control. And I think we got them all. Okay, so let's hit OK. And now we want this outside edge here to kind of come up like, you know, like a blade, like a knife, so this isn't so thick up here. We want the inside where the cookie dough is going to be to be nice and flat, but we want to make this a little thinner. So I'm going to do a chamfer now, and it should select that whole outside edge. We're going to do two distances. The first distance, let's see if it'll do a one. It looks like it won't. There must be some small edges. We'll do 0.5. Can we do 0.6? So it looks like 0.5 is as big as we can make this chamfer. I'm going to hit tab to go to the other arrow here. And we'll do this to go down like three millimeters. And so it really, it's this isn't a, a an even chamfer now. It's got three millimeters going down and 0.5 going in. And that will slim this down to about one millimeter. Okay, so from here, I believe the only thing we really need to do is maybe soften these other edges. So let's just do a chamfer again. We're going to do, let's do this edge. We'll do equal distance and we'll just do 0.5. And we probably need to do this edge as well. The Fusion did not want to select this one as one, so we'll just manually do it. And we'll do a 0.5 on that as well. Hit OK. And that's pretty much it. Um, I suppose we could have rounded over these edges right here. Looks like I missed some of those on this. Maybe here. So I tell you what, let's go back and do that. So we're uh, everything's right. So let's go down to the timeline here. Let's just move, go past these chamfers. And I'm going to click into that fillet again. And this time I'm just going to add. And we will do these outside and inside corners here. That way there's no sharp edges. Everything's rounded, everything. What do we got going on here? And what do we do? 0.5 and hit OK. So now that we have those fixed, we can take our timeline and just drag it back to the end and everything should update. Looks like one of my chamfers did not like what we did. Hit OK. And just by going into it, it fixed itself. Okay, there is your cookie cutter. 
I will post a photo, a video of um, what it looks like uh, when it's done. And if I have, if my friend actually makes these cookies by the time I'm ready to publish this video, I will post that as well. So there you go. Remember, um, technically not food food safe, even though I think you'll be fine using it once. I think the reason uh, it, be, it becomes not food safe is the buildup of bacteria between the layer lines and stuff. But this will cost me about 15 cents to make, 15, 20 cents worth of plastic. So honestly, if you use it once, then throw it away. You can always print another one. Here's a quick video of the cookie cutter. I am in my car outside my friend's house, ready to drop it off. And even funnier, here is what AI, ChatGPT, thought this cookie should look like. Uh, my friend has not had a chance to make them yet. 